In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make reflections in Source Engine maps, since a lot of the other video tutorials I've seen out there are pretty outdated. Reflections are a good, cheap, and easy way to make your maps look a whole lot better. They add shine to windows and glass and make sand and mud look wetter. The Source Engine uses cube maps for reflections. These are basically pre-made textures that are baked into shiny surfaces to make it look like they're reflective. They look pretty good at first glance, and they're not very resource intensive. To give your map some cube maps and reflections and stuff, first have a map that's fully detailed and just about ready to be published. It doesn't need to be, but cube maps are kinda tricky to make, and so it'll save you some time if you only have to do it once. I'm using a map that has a lot of shiny things so I can really show the reflections off. Quick side note, do not seal your map by just making a big hollow box around it. This is a stupid idea, do not do it. Thank you. Simply go around your map and put down some ENV cube maps using the Entity tool. Space them out with one in every 256 by 256 square of floor space near where shiny surfaces are. You can put down more, but it will bloat your map's file size for not too much benefit. Once your ENV underscore cube maps are all placed, go into Map, Entity Report, and search for env underscore cube map by clicking by class and then typing into the little box. Click on the top one, scroll down to the bottom one, and shift click it. This selects all of them. Now hit control M, select move, and put 64 in the box by Z. Hit OK. Make sure you haven't accidentally moved any out of the map and into the void. If just one of them is leaked, then none of the reflections will work at all. Now go ahead and compile your map. Back in the old days, back when I didn't even know what a half-life was, you could just go into the game and build the cube maps with one single console command. In 2013, though, Valve graciously broke the Source SDK tool, as well as building cube maps. Now we need a third-party tool to fix up the map file before we can build them. Download Vide from the link in the video's description. Unzip it to somewhere convenient, like your desktop, and then double-click on vide.exe. Go to Tools and click on Pack File Lump Editor. Select Open, and then Find and select your map. It's usually in somewhere like C, Program Files x86, Steam, com, Steam Apps Common, uh, Game, Game Abbreviation, Maps. Once it's open, scroll down to the bottom and select all the items with names like C123489 underscore etc etc dot VTF, and then click Un slash Delete. Then click Save. This removes the broken cube maps that the map automatically made for us. Now, boot up the game and open the developer console. I'll assume you already know how to do that. Type in sv underscore cheats 1, then mat underscore specular 0. Type in map and then your map name, and then hit enter. As soon as it loads in, type in build cube maps, no spaces. Something like this will happen, and then the map will reload. Quit and restart the game, and then go back to your map. The reflections should now be visible. Every time you recompile your map, it replaces these cube maps with broken ones, so I'd only do this when it's needed. Note that the reflections are not real-time, and so prop underscore physics and player models will not show up in them. There is no way to fix this due to the Source Engine's limitations. I hope this tutorial helped you out a bit. And if you want to help me out a bit, go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already, and have a good one. Also check out my mod on ModDB, link in the description.